So, Brett, what are some of the key themes you're seeing from the second, third tier carriers here at this year's CCA show? Well, uh, two things, Jeff. One is uh, an increasing desire to do something on LTE and utilize the 700 megahertz that they've uh, that a lot of the carriers have purchased, or otherwise utilize LTE as a, as a technology of choice for 4G. Uh, but secondly, some of them have been given a little bit more time from the FCC in terms of a, a, a waiver or an extension to their FCC deadline and build-out requirements uh, to, to refine their business case, maybe uh, stick their toe in the water, do a pilot network uh, trial, uh, and not rush to, uh, to make any you know, decisions that would be um, you know, based on just minimizing their total cost to in order to save a license which to some means uh, throw away investment so a lot of them are able to avoid you know some of those uh, those kinds of decision and and do something a little bit more creative with uh, with their spectrum and over the next 12 to 18 months as, as they get serious about deploying uh, LT what do you see as some of the challenges they're going to face well they continue to have uh, challenges in the ecosystem for handsets and mobile devices uh, a lot of um, you know a lot of the options that are available are, are fixed terminals. Uh, so as more and more um, uh, attractive options for mobility become available, uh, you know that that will become a, a, an, a, an, an increasing enabler for their for their uh, business plans. Uh, secondly, uh, they are looking towards. Uh, uh, companies like uh, Globe, Globecom to provide uh, vehicles towards doing applications that will uh, help leverage uh, the spectrum and make their their uh, their uh, revenue uh, a lot uh, a lot uh, healthier and the services that they provide their subscribers a lot uh, more um, attractive. And for folks, uh, many folks may not be familiar with Globecom. Can you talk about the history of the company and, and then more specifically where you see yourself fitting into this roadmap to, to LTE for the rural carriers? Sure, uh, certainly. Um, Globecom has uh, been a, a network management and services company uh, f since '94. We have uh, we're a publicly traded uh, company uh, on the uh, NASDAQ. Um, we we have a lot of different businesses that. Um, actually make it all come together for for carriers we do a lot of video and broadcast services we do enterprise services we do uh, cellular uh, hosted network services that uh, can uh, draw on you know the wealth of expertise at uh, Globecom uh, for technical uh, advice and designing and implementing networks and, and running and managing them uh, from um, from a perspective of you know we can be uh, the network core operations arm uh, for a, a smaller uh, carrier and provide uh, you know faster better uh, more cost efficient way to, to deploy some of these networks and bring in um, other uh, network partners uh, devices uh, applications and optimization tools to to really run that network effectively and uh, cost of cost efficiently. Well, you do run a lot of networks for customers. Uh, we do. Uh, so maybe share with us one or two that you can talk about. Well, we certainly, well, uh, the company is uh, probably most uh, well known for uh, for some of our broadcast networks, like the Showtime network is, uh, is run uh, at our facility in uh, Long Island, New York. Um, uh, from a uh, operator perspective in the tier two, tier three, uh, one of our uh, customers would be, say, Sheridan Valley, which is a co-op in Macon, Missouri. Uh, they actually came to us uh, because they were looking for a hybrid solution to take them from a, a GSM network uh, provider into um, the world of CDMA and, more importantly, to be a, a good uh, partner for Verizon as part of their Verizon uh, LRA. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's something we have done. And uh, in fact, um, uh, they have uh, launched uh, the iPhone recently and, and are making great strides towards um, you know, building up their, their base and providing excellent coverage and solutions to their, uh, their subscribers. Well, Brett, thanks for joining us today. Thanks very much, Jeff.
כדי במתאים.